Hello? Uh, hello, Professor. Uh, well, uh, my name is oh, Peter. Oh, Mike, you sent me an email yesterday, right? Yes. You wanted to ask me something about the Bolzano theorem, I believe? Yeah, well, you, my, you my name is, is, my is Peter. There, so I wonder what, what, what's wrong with you. I, I thought you were going to drop the course. I literally told some of my colleagues, this guy is not going to last more than one week. But here you are. So it's almost one month before the semester finishes and you come to my office hours today. I hope it's not to complain about the course because I wouldn't like this. Uh, I just you wanted to talk I don't about... Want to talk uh, too much. So I will just listen to you, Mike. So tell me, what's the problem? What do you want? Uh, well, Professor, uh, first of all, Peter, I, I guess yeah, it's, we'll it's my it's okay. Okay, it's not a problem. Yeah, it's okay, Mike. I don't <laughs> really understand Bolzano's theorem. Oh, really? Is this what you want? But I explained it's very well last week, and I said the homework three and four, I believe, were exactly on Bolzano's theorem, and you had several examples in this. And I think I gave you enough work to understand this. So I really don't know how you don't understand Bolzano theory. Maybe you don't study enough. Maybe you're not smart enough. Did you ever consider maybe, um, <clears throat> I don't know, but if, if this college is too hard for you, maybe you should look for, I don't know, some engineering programs or some... Uh, excuse me, I, I'm already in an engineering program. Yeah, well, whatever. So, okay. So what, what do you want? I, I would like if you can explain me the concept Again? of the Bolzano theorem. Oh my god, but was there nothing with something very easy? I don't know, I don't see why I have to explain this again. I explained it like for three weeks, every week, two times. And you still come here, I don't understand anything. And if at least you had a specific doubt, but you have like a general thing, what do you want me to explain everything about the Bolzano theorem? Tell me what you understood. I mean, you must have understood something, don't you, Mike? Uh, well, uh, that's maybe the problem, and that's why I'm here. What do you mean that's the problem? that I not understand it. I don't know. You don't understand anything? Did you get anything done with it before the Bolzano theory? Like I guess I know what the limits, how continuous the function points, asymptotes. I guess Did I know this the, part. Yeah, did yes. you understand what is a continuous function? I kind of understand so it. So you know that the limit is lim when x tends to that, for instance, a of f of x. If a is if x tends to a a minus, so from the left from the left hand side, then this must be equal to also the other side. So the limit from x tends to the a plus of f of x, which should also be equal to the image, would be actually f of a. And if any of these inequalities is not satisfied, then the function is not continuous. I hope you understood this very clearly, don't you, Mike? Uh, could, could you explain oh, it? Oh, come on, Mike! Again? This is not fun, this is not fun for me. I'm spending all my time here for you, and you just don't, 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 don't put effort and don't, don't, don't put time in this. I cannot do more than this, please. I'm sorry, but go. I have I... other things to do. I said enough. Okay, I okay. I said everything, and also here I have your last assignment. You didn't do anything, you got a zero. Well, wait, you're not putting any effort in this, and now you come, you don't understand things. What should I do? Explain things to you, like if you were like a three-year-old kid. Uh, okay. Can, 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 do... can I get the assignment? The assignment. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Same to you, Mike. Uh, uh, Peter. Yeah, I'm going to go. There.